if you want to attend the IIT Madras based admission interview, before going there, you should watch this video because in this video, we are giving any minute details from the application timeline, how to crack the interview, and after the admission tour. Hi, this is Shan. Welcome to our series, Admission in Focus. Today with us, Shubroto is there. Shubroto has completed his master's from IIT Hyderabad. And he has cracked an excellent interview in IIT Madras and, go, and also has got the opportunity for PhD. And that's, that's why I congratulate from our channel, Shubhato. Congratulate. Thank you, Shayan. Thank you. Shubhato uh, uh, is actually an excellent chemist. And he has done his uh, bachelor's uh, from with myself and master's from IIT Hyderabad. But Shubhato, why not you are introducing yourself? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shayan. First of all, I want to say Sayan is my was my PC classmate. He's really good. <laughs> we, we had a lot of memory regarding BC <laughs> during staying in Mason's uh, Mason Hotel, uh, Mason's. Okay. So this is Subroto, and I have done my bachelor's from Ramkishan with Vidya Mandira. And I have done my MSc from IIT Hyderabad, just said Sayan. And uh, I am preparing now myself for joining PhD position in India specifically. I just first want to know, uh, as you will help us today to get every information about PhD interview. So I just first want to know, what is the timeline for applications for PhD in IT matters? Yes, uh, if, if we see most of the uh, IITs, specifically I am telling IITs, so before, uh, before the, uh, before the, uh, before the uh, completion of MSc, MSc program, two months before, so basically, the notification for admission procedure in PhD program is uh, come, is uh, comes out, and uh, it uh, helps for it continued for nearly one month in most of the IITs. And uh, that time, you can uh, go through the notifications of admission procedure, and you can also uh, do apply. May or June this time frame? Actually, if uh, June, uh, yes, uh, May or June. Yes. Because in most of the July, July admission session there, July and December, so before July, so maybe June, May, like that. And uh, so, the, what what the cut off they put uh, to require to fulfill the requirement in order to apply? Just yes, uh, actually, cut off means there is some notifications during admission procedure. So, if you are from a central funded institute like IIT, ISA, NIT, so for that one, you have to with an, at least eight CGPA in most of the IT is also 7.5. Besides of that, you have to be with you CSI GRF, otherwise UGC NET, otherwise you should have uh, Inspire and also GATE for those uh, for applying PhD program. Okay. So if I have CSIR, I can directly apply, means uh, I can get the what fellowship? Yes, for C if you see for CSIR, that is GRA. So for that one, you will get fellowship and also for it, you will get fellowship. In both cases, you will get fellowship. But if you see some that uh, in uh, from for gate, so MHRD will give you fellowship via your institute. But for CSIR directly, you have own fellowship that is external external fellowship. Okay. So for that care in gate for per month it is it comes. But for CSIR may not be per per, per month and maybe uh, at some after some month or like that. At a time, you will get fellowship. Okay, okay. and uh, so if I have CSIR, and then also I can apply for the institute fellowship through Gate or not? Yes, uh, you can apply. If actually, basically, if you have CSIR, so you will be better. Uh, you will be preferred more compared to Gate Gate aspirants or Gate uh, Gate uh, fellowship students. But what I think interview board your uh, performance is, uh, should be based upon. Whatever fellowship you have. About <laughs> so, the so performance in interview, isn't Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. All about the performance in the interview board. Like yes. that. Oh, so yes. that's why this video is that's why this video is for the students uh, who want to crack. Shubrata will get uh, will give us the details for interview yes, yes, yes. of that. Yes. Shubrata, uh, what is the interview board? Uh, what is that panel and all things? Can you describe everything yes. elaborately? Yes, uh, Zion, if, uh, so basically at first you have to apply, then you have solicited. So if you get solicited, so then you have to go to your cho your uh, to topic for preference to get PhD with that topic. So for that one, you have to go through the some faculty list if you are 
you have been solicited then then after the solicited you will be called for interview so interview panel there may be many faculty and from your from your film uh, your choice of preferences so they will ask so many questions <laughs> in a in a friendly manner <laughs> they will ask what type of questions uh, if i will like, apply organic chemistry or physical chemistry can you share your experience what you applied and what you have asked yes then uh, actually i have applied for physical chemistry material energy related work so so they 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 ask question for different kinds of like solid state they first ask from solid state then slowly they go into magnetism there is some magnetism part and they also go into some basic question from kinetics thermodynamics and say the besides of there some characterization take like for physical same team xrd good things and for basically for energy electrochemical reaction cd gcd so those uh, impedance character impedance characteristics so you have from the biological field so they they will have pcr also chromatography and do some basic kinds of thing huh? so those things you have to so be well so if i can apply for uh, phd interview then i have to know all the characterization technique or something like that yes, when, which field i am applying yes, applying, yes uh, that depends on which field you are applying Yeah. Suppose you such as for example, I have applied in physical field, so they asked for some characteristics and technique of material like I have just mentioned XRD that is very much important. Then XTS, then same, then TM, then impedance characteristics for electrochemical measurements for basically in, in, in energy related work like battery supercapacitor and those things, and basically for organic you know very well. <laughs> so, uh, so Shubhendu, I just want to cannot you. Have some sample questions. I mean, sample question you have faced uh, from basic yeah. chemistry. The actually when I uh, first uh, entered into the panel, so they asked me from magnetism. First, they uh, they hit me with magnetism. Some questions on magnetism, like uh, plot some anti-ferromagnetic, magnetic, and ferromagnetic dynamics and those things. So how temperature will uh, how temperature. With varying temperature, your magnetic susceptibility will be changed, and those kinds of things. And also, basic some uh, some terminology like what is nil temperature and those things. Okay, so that one, and also they uh, they asked me one question I can remember: resistive versus temperature plot. So how can you can plot? so that one? And they shifted towards superconductivity also. That so all things they asked. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And if I apply to physical chemistry, whether uh, there is any chance to ask for or from organic chemistry questions or or not or inorganic chemistry? Actually, see if you see, they are organic related to NMR. Okay, NMR. So NMR basic NMR is related to physical chemistry. So all are interrelated. So I don't think that uh, all are different. Yes, all are different. But uh, PG from physical background. So for to know the organic better NMR, you have to go to NMR physical. EPR, ESR, those things, and ESR, EPR is uh, is correlated with your inorganic metal complexes. So mm-hmm. all are correlated. Oh, uh, so they can also remember they ask also questions of John Taylor distinction. That was oh, yeah, the distinction, the basic concept yeah. of things. So they can yeah. ask from yeah. the question there also. Yes. Okay. yes. And that's nice. And uh, what your suggestion for the next students to crack the interview at the moment? Actually, uh, for uh, that depends on uh, the students which prefer C has given. Okay, in interview. So basically, for physical, I can say that uh, you have to go to solid state very well first of all. Then, <laughs> then you, basically, if you deal with physical chemistry, so super ki- kinetics, thermodynamics, okay, and also uh, also some with some basic characterization of techniques like same team XRD, Ramon, FTIR, and those things. So just the little concept they want to know, like what is same, how can you get the information from same. So what the what the peaks in XRD. So from those peaks, what you can get about the crystal structure and those things. So don't worry, everything will be <laughs> high, will be fair and lovely. I think next uh, for the broad uh, window of viewers, I just want to ask what type of quality they actually are expecting from the students as a student if I appear. So uh, basically, for actually I have given physical. So for physical, so they basically, basically may can actually they experiment you during the during the inter. So how is your approach to solve any problem? That may be solvable problem. That may be unsolvable problem. 
they can give also me a one, so, uh, one problem so so approach does matter a lot during interview uh, it doesn't matter if i uh, not able to give any an answer uh, for any questions but the approach matters isn't they want to see from us how to approach yes okay. approach approach how how if uh, how efficiency you can solve the problem not efficiency means uh, your approach should be how you, your approach should be approach should be uh, unique that one why you were why you were choosing it madras uh, as compared to others why you were choosing sorry for interaction why you were choosing yes. it madras you feel that it madras can be the best one as compared to other why is that one not that one means i have uh, i have been solely state let's see i will join join I, th- i think i will join that depends on which guide i will get that, that uh, depending on that because guide matters during phd somewhat <laughs> hey uh, if i am a student for msc second year i don't know what research is going on in it madras or it has about that you can how should i choose my guide actually that that depends on which topic you are cho- you are choosing and also its relevance to the society and how you can serve your people or to by to science by this topic <laughs> depending on this and also your msc project will be there now one year in different iits so from there you can also get the information that uh, on that topic you are working in msc should i go or not and all those matters and gate score how much matters for iit matters actually gate score matters iit matters uh, first of all i want to see that interview uh, performance interview is the best of all he said so you can apply for get uh, maybe more i did not check exactly maybe more than 15 uh, 1500 all india rank and maybe your get score that is within 1000 that will get maybe five uh, maybe 600 or, or like that or 400 oh nice nice so we have got uh, many informations for how to crack interview in it madras psc and that for, for that uh, thank you very much shubhoto thank you from our channel thank you very much Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. <laughs> After all, <laughs> we have got all the information. Uh, so, if you have till now any questions about how to crack interview for IT Madras or how to approach, what is the timeline? If any, anything, anything, if you have questions, you can just directly contact me, or also you can directly mail Shubhoto. We will give the mail ID of Shubhoto to okay. in the description box. And if you have any questions till now, uh, you can comment. You can comment to our video. We will happy to answer you. everything any questions if you have in your mind okay. and uh, uh, wait for our next video which will maybe some uh, other iit other institute iisc now and until then uh, bye bye thank you for watching bye 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 thank you